Iran has marked its National Army Day with forces from all units of armed forces holding parades in major cities, including the capital, Tehran. Combat units of the Army, helicopters, fighter jets, air defense systems and portable naval equipment took part in the parades. Also indigenously developed military equipment, including drones and missiles, were displayed. Addressing the event, Iran's president, Ibrahim Raisi, hailed the achievements made by Iran's armed forces, saying any threat to Iran's security will get quick and powerful response. The Iranian armed forces ensure security not only for their own country, but for the entire region. The Iranian army is now equipped with state-of-the-art technologies to defend territorial integrity. The extra-regional and American forces should leave the region as soon as possible because it is in their own interests and in the interests of the region. The enemy, is especially the Zionist regime, have received this message that the slightest move against the country will evoke a severe response from the armed forces and will be accompanied by the destruction of Haifa and Tel Aviv. Iranian military experts and technicians have in recent years made great headways in manufacturing a broad range of equipment, making the armed forces self-sufficient in the armed sphere. The army has been furnished with new weaponry, equipment and technologies that are necessary for fighting the contemporary wars and appropriate for the possible wars of future. The Iranian armed forces are now able to fight off any power intending to violate the country's territories, commit an act of aggression or upset the balance of power. Iran maintains that its military power poses no threat to the regional countries, saying that the Islamic Republic's defense doctrine is entirely based on deterrence. The National Army Day, which is celebrated annually on April 18th, was named by the founder of the Islamic Republic of Iran, Imam Khomeini, back in 1979.